Welcome everyone to this PostgreSQL tutorial. Today we are going to learn about a PostgreSQL feature called Anonymous Code Block. If you have ever wondered how to run PLPGSQL without defining a permanent function, then this tutorial is for you. First thing first, what is an Anonymous Code Block? It's a way to execute a procedural code directly in PostgreSQL without saving it as a stored function or a procedure. But why use it? Imagine you are testing some logic or you just want to run some procedural code once without saving it permanently. This is where anonymous code blocks sign. Here is a syntax how to use anonymous code blocks. But each part has its purpose. Let's know it. The do keyword signifies the beginning of our block. Think of it as the green signal to start our code. Next you see this double dollar symbol. The double dollar sign serves as delimiters, making the beginning and the end of the code block. They can also be customized. The beauty is you can replace delimiter with any word or even leave it as just a double dollar symbol if you prefer. Next we have the declare section. This is where we list any variables we want to use later in the code. The begin and end block is where you put the main action or the code or the command that you want to run. Let's see with an example where we will use the anonymous block code to display a message. We start up with a do followed by a double dollar sign. This marks the beginning of our anonymous code block. Next is a declare where we introduce any variable we plan to use. Here we are defining a variable named my message of type text and assigning it the value hello there using the colon equals symbol. The begin marks where the main action or command start. Next in this line raise notice percentage within a single quote then comma, then the my message variable, then colon. The percentage act as a placeholder which will be replaced by the content of the my message variable, thus showing the hello there. Lastly, the end signifies the conclusion of our anonymous block or the end of our anonymous block code. Now let's take one more example where we will use the anonymous code blocks to count the numbers. Here is the code. Within the declare, we have established a variable name count up of type integer. Then for count up in 1.3 this line is setting up a loop we are instructing postgresql to cycle from numbers 1 through d next we have specified the code loop in loop this command dictate the area of the loop anything nested between them will repeat for each cycle of the loop next within the loop we have a code raise notice within a single code this is the number percentage symbol and then comma and count up variable and then colon the percentage symbol will substitute with the current loop number giving us a message like this is the number one and so on. Then we use the in to making the end of our block. Anonymous code blocks provide a way to run a procedural operation in PostgreSQL without a permanent footprint. They are especially useful for temporary tasks and tests. Thank you for watching. If you found this informative, please consider subscribing for more content. Until next time.